Greetings, owners of fine luxury digital rectangles. Okay, it's a busy day. It's a very busy day. Um, as I'm recording this, the town hall is going on. I will be chatting with Dwayne in about 40 minutes. So I've got a lot of stuff I need to get done and not a lot of time to do it. So let's get started with daily reward claim. So I've got three chests on my main account. Still struggling struggling to get to silver one i've been bouncing in between silver two and silver three so hopefully soon i can get to silver one and start getting more chests but i've got three chests let's see how we do starting with a potion two potions well pretty good sps actually very good 13 sps fires the focus let's go ahead and change that Go claim the SPS and then head on over to the alt account. So excited to talk with Dwayne today. I know we'll be talking all things Splinterlands. Um, I just picked up my seventh and final plot in Ravenwood. So happy with that. I think I will probably survey it on uh, Dwayne's stream if I'm able to. So be able to see what I get there. I was hoping to get in the same track as uh, Bronze Dragon. He sent me a message. He said, hey, Ravenwood's open. He got the first plot in track one. And when I looked at it, it said the next available plot was the first plot in track two. And I'm like, well, who bought the rest, the remaining 99 plots? And strangely enough, it was Nate, who is head of the creative team in Splinterlands, bought the other 99 plots. So if you're going to have a neighbor in your track that has a majority of it, it might as well be one of the lead developers of the team. So I thought that was pretty cool. So Bronze Dragon has the first plot in track one. I have the first plot in track number two. So I will be revealing that hopefully on Dwayne's stream later today. So, okay, let's head on over to the alt accounts. I had a good day yesterday was able to play a lot, was able to get, I think, a total of 15 bronze chests. Yep, we have 15 chests to claim. So let's see what we get. Hopefully if we get summoners, we get summoners we need. I need one more of the life summoner, and that will get me to level 2. I believe I need 2 of the earth summoner and 3 of the death summoner. So those are the ones I'm hoping to get today. So there's a card, there's Grunt. There's a Swamp Spitter, another great card. Coastal Sentry, another powerful card. Tamaki Orc, another Grunt, and two Merits. So we did get five cards and 15 chests, so we did get the average. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we had 15 chests today, five cards. Oh, yesterday I didn't record it. I had two chests. Um, open one, I got a summoner. I got the um, life summoner. So 264. And we are now over 1,000. 1,006, if I can do my math correctly. <coughs> so, 1,000 chests. I should have 333 cards. So slightly over a thousand. So yeah, I'm still about 70 cards under where I should be for the account. Um, I did unstake some of my SPS. I'm still debating on purchasing a Rift Watchers pack. Um, probably can get it cheaper on Hive Engine. So we'll just see. I'm, I'm just going to leave it unstaked for now. Still kind of debating on what I want to do with it. Whether I just want to keep my SPS and build up my... Uh, my DEC. So I have one last uh, kind of announcement to make before I end the video. Um, remember how I told you guys don't forget about Splinter Forge? Well, in the Splinter Forge Discord, they just came up with this announcement. Um, they have Forge staking on the roadmap where you can stake Forge, kind of like how you stake uh, SPS and Splinterlands and you earn more um, SPS. Well, if you stake Forge, you're going to get experience 
and experience is going to be used in the new hero system. Um, and it said it will be the next major update after survival mode. So I'm kind of wondering what survival mode is in the game. Um, they're considering implementing Staking Forge early to give users a chance to accumulate experience in preparation for the upcoming hero system. So one of the things this means is if you are interested in Splinter Forge and you are interested in the new updates and getting a jump on the competition, you probably want to get Forge to stake. And Forge is incredibly cheap right now. I think it's at 20 cents per thousand. Actually, a little bit less, 19 cents per thousand. So you get Forge by playing the game. And you can also pick up a ton of Forge cheap on Hive Engine if you um, are looking to get a jump on the competition and increasing experience for your hero. So this might uh make the price of forge bump a little bit maybe not a whole lot but there definitely will be a demand for uh forge for staking purposes so that sounds like that's going to be coming out fairly soon um didn't give an exact timeline yet but just something i wanted to put in front of you guys so you are uh, aware of it okay guys i'm going to wrap this video up quick um i've got a little bit over a half hour before i will be chatting with Dwayne, so i've got some things i need to take care of before then Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you can check us out. Um, it will be on Dwayne's channel, Dwayne Cunningham. Um, hope to see you there. And if you have any questions for me or for Dwayne, uh, please uh, be part of the uh, a live stream. Bring your questions and love to see you guys there. Okay, hope you guys are having a great one. See you soon.